Hey guys. She walked away through a cheap pack of cigarettes. Hard liquor mixed with a bit of intellect. And all the boys that were saying they were into it. What is up? So I have <laughs> the most incredible video. Okay, first of all, I'm going to apologize for the way my room is currently looking. First of all, I'm home again for the weekend. And today was the most amazing day of my entire life and I know I say that about everything but I'm this time I'm not kidding um today didn't our, our, okay our plans changed like today originally we were supposed to go down to Charlie and Chocolate Factory again and um go get Christian and Mike Rotella and all the other people to sign my pictures because as you guys know I developed pictures again and I wanted them to sign them so late last night it was like I don't know 10 30 at night and I saw that Jimmy Fallon okay first of all if you don't know Jimmy Fallon came out with another book um it's everything is mama last year he had one about dada so and last year he did a book signing but I wasn't able to go or two years ago whenever it was so I was like oh my god mama's coming out very soon and I was like hmm, maybe he's going to do a book signing. And so last night, it was around 10.30 at night, I'm on my computer, and he posts, like it was like 11 minutes ago when he posted this, that he was going to be at Union Square's Barnes & Noble's in Gramercy um, in New York City at noon. And I was like, holy fuck, like we have to go to this. I didn't get to go a couple years ago and I was like we have to scratch our plans with Christian and Mike Ortella because I can always do that anytime like Jimmy is not always in this Barnes and Nobles so like we have no idea last night where Union Square is we had no idea where that bookstore is because we've never been to that part of the city before which is very pretty and so we're like oh my god we have to do this we have to find a way there has to be a way that we can um, go so we basically like we got to the city and we basically found our way to Gramercy so I just got in the shower so anyways back to the story that I was talking about so we went to so we got to the city and we got to Gramercy or Union Square it's all in the same in the same vicinity Union Square is like a maybe a couple blocks down so walking from Grand Central to Union Square to the Barnes and Nobles is 26 minutes. Now, we got to the city at like a quarter to 11 maybe. It was like 10.45. And we... It started at 12, the signing. And it takes a half hour to get to Union Square. So at this point, I'm like sweating and I didn't even want to even think about it so we walked all the way to Union Square without getting lost and it was good it's really pretty as I said it's very very pretty and prior to that my mom called Barnes and Nobles well that Barnes and Nobles to make sure that there was going to be bracelets left because you had to get bracelets you had to purchase the book then get the bracelet then that guaranteed you to meet Jimmy and so when we got to the Barnes and Nobles, we saw this girl standing by where they had a picture of Fallon saying that he was going to be there signing his new book. And we we're like, uh, we called up before. Are there any bracelets left? And they started handing them out at 9 a.m. But of course, we weren't going to be there at 9 a.m. So um, she said, well, they're selling it really fast. You can go on the line, whatever. So we went on the line. And at this point, I am so worried that we weren't going to get a tip. Um, a wristlet um and so it was finally our turn um and I went up to the lady I was like are there any more Jimmy Fallon bracelets available and there was there was uh, oh my god I was so excited that there were bracelets left so I'll show you the bracelet it's really nothing too fancy it's not like the bracelets that you get if you go see the go see his show um they even have my bracelet. I might have thrown it away. Because it really wasn't an amazing bracelet. So 
so I took it off because it was annoying so I don't know where it went but it was a red bracelet and it just said Barnes and Nobles thank you for attending the event whatever it was so it really wasn't that amazing and so then we got the book and for a baby book it was it's expensive okay and I think also because he's Jimmy Fallon so you know they're gonna make it really expensive so as you guys know if you don't know he did do a book about uh, Dada so this one is the mom this is everything is mama and this thing was I kid you not in the corner Shit. dude in the corner here $16.99 and then Canadian $23.99 like that's that's ridiculous but this is a book and it's so awesome so this is a book that we got and so after they she put the bracelet on our wrists and we, we went upstairs oh FYI I went, I went with my mom so after we got our bracelets on in our books my mom got one also and I got one too and we went upstairs now there's four floors of this Barnes and Nobles which is humongous so we go up to the fourth floor and they have all these chairs set out and people tons of people were there so we got more in like the back um but it wasn't bad because we could see and i took a video of jimmy so i will be putting that up as well for you guys after this video um so yeah so anyways we go upstairs and at this point i'm like what the fuck like i'm gonna meet my inspiration my idol since i was literally eight the first time i saw jimmy fallon was on sesame street and i was like eight nine and so i have loved him for a very very long time and so i now if you guys don't know i did see jimmy fallon twice so it was monologue show and i saw his regular a regular sh like taping so that was like no so um i'm sitting in the seats and he is coming and i turn around and i'm just like what okay i knew he was hot but when you're up close and you're really looking at him oh my god so hot mm. oh i love it so unfortunately for this event we weren't allowed to take any pictures when we were talking to him we were allowed to take them when he was talking to us before we got to meet him unfortunately I don't have a photo with him kind of bummed about that but I can't really be because of what I'm gonna say to you guys um my interaction with, with him was just incredible and I wouldn't trade it for anything else I mean obviously at one point I am gonna get a picture just today I guess wasn't the right time to so we so he read the book and he was talking for a little bit but he was quick because he really wanted to meet everyone and there was a lot of people it ended around two so it went from 12 to two so two hours and so finally our row is allowed to get up and proceed to where jimmy is sitting and i think at this point it was slowly starting to sink in that I was going to meet Jimmy Fallon and mind you I've cried I cried beforehand and I cried when I was talking with him and after I talked with him so I was basically a crying mess all night it was it was awful so I'm waiting online and um my mom is next to me she goes come over here on the, on the side and look at him and I was like no because I know I was gonna burst I was fine but then when I went over and saw him, I burst into tears. As per usual, I took off my glasses. I put them on my head so that, like, I could talk to him without my glasses on. And so when it was my turn, <laughs> this is so crazy. So I go up to him. My hands are like this on my face. And I'm basically in tears. And he goes, hey, pal, how you doing? And shakes my hand. I say nothing. Absolutely nothing. And he's not irritated or annoyed that I'm crying to him. He was genuinely genuine and happy and just smiling. His biggest smile on his face. The, probably one of the nicest celebrities I've ever met. And I've met a lot. So I shook his hand and he got up off his chair and stood up. And um, I was saying to him that the first time I saw him was when I was eight and I was watching Sesame Street and I loved and I told him how I loved him since I was eight years old and I wanted to tell him that I saw the show twice like his show but it didn't come out that way 
And then, um, see, I was going to ask for a hug, but I didn't have to because he hugged me. And, yeah, uh-huh, mm-hmm, yeah, he hugged me, okay, guys? He freaking hugged me. I was dead. And so, um, after that, I told him my name. I said, well, my name is Brianna. And he goes, okay. Brianna is, like, trying to remember and so then my mom is next to me, and she's saying whatever she's saying. I don't remember what she even said, so I don't even know. And so before we leave, like, he says goodbye. So I said bye. He says goodbye to us, and he waves to me and winks his eye, and I'm just, like, dead. So that was the most incredible thing ever. Yeah, I didn't get a picture, but I got one of the best encounters with somebody ever, and I wouldn't want to change any of that. So... After that, I'm basically in tears. I'm done. His, like, assistants that ha actually work with him at the NBC were, like, smiling at me. And it was just, it was crazy. It was literally insane. And so I, so we leave. And that was it. I mean, I met Jimmy Fallon. Like, I never thought in a million and one years that I was ever going to meet Jimmy Fallon. It's it has always been a dream of mine to meet Jimmy Fallon. I'm going to leave some pictures on the thumbnail um, because I don't have, I have a lot. But I'll just leave some of my favorite ones for you guys. And yeah, I mean, <laughs> I met Jimmy Fallon today. Like, October 14th, 2017, I met Jimmy Fallon. I I'm going to see you guys later. Bye, guys.